kaelo nyende kapo jido dome adam dola 18 year old mawenyo kodo has a dream of joining ghana's military in future and that dream starts here each day however that dream will not be realized easily. Kodo and his siblings, like many other children in Agodwe, have to swim their way through this river in a quest for education at Chavanya, one of the nearest communities. They put their uniforms and books in basins and hold the basins while swimming across the river. Kodo tells me although it is more dangerous, especially during rainy seasons, they have no choice but to bravely navigate the waters to school. But that is just one hurdle. Another barrier is walking for more than seven kilometers to get to their school. Those that are lucky enough to meet the canoe provided by the district assembly some years ago cross the river using the canoe. The kedu is sometimes taken away by some fisher folks in the town, forcing children that cannot swim to use another deadly means of getting to the other side of the river. They hop and walk on the logs and big branches of trees along the banks to cross to the other side, and this requires a lot of experience. <laughs> The other closest town to Agodwe is Tove, where some other pupils also attend school. The situation does not get any better for those that attend the Tove Basic School. They have to walk for about 1 hour 30 minutes as well as cross two different rivers before getting to school. The time these pupils have to spend each morning traveling to school consumes much of the time they need to be in the classroom. They therefore end up studying for just a few hours. The pupils we met on our way narrated their ordeals to the news team, saying that they get stressed out before getting to school and that negatively impacts their academic performance. The road is not good. Every day we hold your bag and shoes before going to school. Every morning we, we swim before going to school. We are told that here in the Agode community, children below the ages of 10 do not attend school. This is not because there's no school in this community. There's a fine six unit classroom block here in this town, but there are no teachers here to teach them. And parents cannot also afford to send their young ones to Tove, the nearest town, to cross two different streams or rivers at the peril of their lives just for education. Many children in this community therefore idle about without going to school, a clear violation of the children's rights to education as stipulated by the Article 25 of Ghana's 1992 Constitution. These two three-unit classroom blocks were built in 2010, but the school has been shut down because there are no teachers here to teach. Teachers sent here by the Ghana Education Service fled due to the deplorable nature of the community. The unit committee secretary of the town told GH1 News the community started building this bungalow made of mud for the teachers but could not complete it due to lack of funds. We are planning to amend a roof it. We even wrote a letter to our uh, honorable uh, uh, Bernard and then DC to help us to reap the bungalow for the teachers. What, what was their response? Mm, as at now, we didn't receive any reply from, from them. Or they didn't give us any request. Okay, but do you think that um, um, when you, you, you finish or you complete this teacher's bungalow for the, the teachers, do you think they will come back to this 
to me, to me, I'm not sure they will come and stay because if they were to stay, first of all, we gave them a room or building in the village, but they refused to stay. We uh, somebody supplied them a building, but they refused to stay. So, to me, when we finish up with this bungalow too, I don't think they'll come and stay because we don't have light, we don't have wood. I don't think they'll come and stay. The Akachi South District Chief Executive Samuel Kwajo Wadi, who doubles as the chairman of the education committee of the district, admitted the challenge in Akodwe is a huge one. It's like an airline. And now that we're trying to link it up with uh, uh, Atove, or yeah, it's Tove, which is the bigger community at, you know, attached to, closer to Agode. They have a problem because uh, crossing if the river overflows its banks, crossing the river becomes a problem for the teachers. And uh, most of them doesn't know how to, speak, to swim. So, the, and, the, and when the river overflows its banks, it doesn't take much time before it gets down. So during that time, you see them, some, most, most of them that comes from Akachi or Tova before going to the school, they don't go to school. But those who are staying there normally go to classes. I happen to call the opinion leaders there that they, why? Why is it that they cannot get them accommodation? What they told me recently is that they are now putting up accommodation, teachers bungalow for, for, the, for the teachers and needed their assistance. I would tell them that they were, were, were at their disposal. They should bring a, bring a letter to us so that we will support them, put up a, you know, a, a small bungalow for the teachers. At least the one that, one, it's not the bedroom, the one the chamber and hall, chamber and hall, there were three or four, four for them to, go, to be accommodating the teachers. He, however, said the assembly cannot readily provide any form of rapid assistance, such as constructing bridges, to aid in the crossing of the rivers to the nearest towns because the assembly is broke. The children's right to education without any stress or impediment now hinges on the assistance of a non-governmental organization that had promised to help construct foot bridges. According to UNICEF, while there has been considerable progress in improving school enrollment rates in Ghana, increasing completion rates is an unfinished business that must take center stage. A 2015 UNESCO report titled Education for People and Planet states that only 53% of students in Ghana are able to complete junior high school education. Many children drop out because of barriers in accessing schools. As the situation stands now, there is the need for government to build bridges over the rivers to make schools accessible to the children of Agodwe and also find ways of motivating teachers to stay and teach the pupils, else many constructed schools will just remain buildings contributing nothing to the educational development of the children and also infringing on their rights to education. Alice Aite, GH1 News, Agode.